Hi everyone, I'm Kat Pengelly, Community and Engagement Manager for Lean Agile Global 2021. In the lead up to the live virtual conference that will be taking place on 24th and 25th May this year, I will be introducing you to some of the fantastic speakers that we have in our lineup. Today, I'm delighted to introduce you to two of our speakers, uh, Jeroen Veneman, uh, Agile Transformation Consultant at Enter Agile, and Jasper Solovent, uh, Senior Senior Lean Agile Coach at Domstand Agile. Welcome both. Delighted to have you here. Yeah, thank good you. Good to be here. Thank yeah, you. Good to be here. Awesome. Well, so I prepared five questions for you to go through today. Um, first, I'll pass to Jeroen. How would you describe yourself in a single tweet? Yeah, how would I describe myself? That's, uh, that's a good question. Um, and I, when I think about that, and I, I come up with a, a quote, uh, and that's a quote we also use as the Agile Consortium, which I'm also a chair of the board there. Uh, that's uh, get inspired and become more effective. And uh, looking at that, then I could describe myself as the, uh, the recharging battery, the inspiration battery, uh, because I get charged by the people around me which share the same, the same passion on, on, on Agile and the things we can achieve with that. Uh, and I like to, to charge others with that inspiration. Uh, so that would, uh, would be a nice metaphor, I guess. Yeah, lovely. I love the word charged. You know, I haven't really heard that from anyone before. And I appreciate, you know, getting inspired and being that battery that can help people get inspired and be inspired and recharged by others. I love that. Exactly. And I think it's about creating these batteries also in organizations because that's sustainable. That's creating sustainability. Yeah. Awesome. I love that. And then, uh, Jasper, how about for yourself? Oh, that's a good, that's a good one. Actually, I just I was just thinking that I don't even know what's on my Twitter bio. <laughs> I haven't been on Twitter for so long. Um, I think I um, I think I would describe myself as um, pragmatic, do whatever works, um, and make sure you have a little fun while doing it. Um, and I think that goes for a lot of uh, stuff for me in life and in work. Uh, I I truly believe that work should be fun since there's so much free time going into it. Um, so. Yeah, I think that's uh, I think that's it. And and don't don't be too difficult about the book and the rules. Do whatever works and do it sensibly. Yeah, I love that. I love when you said just just do it, you know, do it and have fun while doing it, because I think a lot of people forget that you want to have fun. Um, I saw a post uh, earlier today that said, you know, as soon as you leave your job, um, they'll find someone to replace you. However, if you leave your family um, for whatever reason, your family will mourn you forever. And it really made me think about the fact that, you know, having fun, caring and enjoying yourself is truly really important. And a lot of people do forget that in their work. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah it should be sure. the same at, at work, I guess, yeah. Yeah, lovely. Well, excellent. I love both of those. Um, uh, Jasper, if it's all right, I'll throw back to you. Um, speaking more yeah, towards sure. the conference, how, uh, sorry, or in your opinion, why should people come and join us virtually at the conference this year? Well, for one, because it's an, well, it's an awesome conference uh, for sure. Um, I've been part of, of this conference and the string of conferences for a couple of years now. And it's, it's, awesome talks great people um it's always a good time and a lot of stuff to learn it's it's one of the uh, the best conferences i think to connect with people and to connect ideas um so if you want to be inspired and and have fun um then th this is definitely where you should be um i don't know if there's uh if there's if you can complain about the beers this year since everybody has to provide them for themselves but yeah um yeah I think oh, that's, I the, that. that's the only uh, yeah that's the only thing that um, people uh, people need to bring I will tell Jose a good yeah. yes absolutely the good attitude is really important you know it's in our code of conduct uh, don't be a jerk you know we're, don't we're be here. a jerk yeah yeah well it, and, I, and I heard a rumor I know Jose is going to hate me for saying this but there's going to be a magic fridge shipped to everybody in the conference right well well you know when you just said that we weren't delivering beer I was like I'm gonna have to tell Jose that uh, we need to get a beer in everybody's hands <laughs> yeah oh yeah for sure tell him yeah tell him we came up with that 
Yeah, um, I'll, I'll just tell him. I'll take, he, I'll I'll take tell the blame. Him, yeah, yeah, I'll just tell him he came up with it in the past and he's just forgotten about it. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Yeah, for sure. Awesome. Well, then, uh, Yarun, how about for yourself? Um, wh why do you think people should come and join us virtually? Yeah, I think a lot is being said. And, uh, and what I hear specifically about this conference is uh, what you, you already mentioned, hey, the, the, the rules hey, the, of conduct, hey, the, 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 the atmosphere around it, hey, that, yeah. that you address those, 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 those rules. I think that's, that's real important. And uh, yeah, in this, these times with, uh, with COVID, where everything went online, uh, it's uh, it's it's even more difficult to create these conferences where uh, where people meet and and uh, it's not only absorbing the content uh, but usually when we're meeting together uh, you have the discussions around it and you get the extra uh, extra level of, of of content and contact uh, there uh, so uh, doing this virtually but uh, having this this in the preparation. These, these rules and this atmosphere, uh, I think it feels like uh, as close as you can be as, as being together and uh, have those energizers with everybody having a beer in front of them uh, yeah. that connects also. So having those ideas, uh, I think that's, uh, that's good. And also good speakers on, uh, on this conference. So uh, yes. that's also a good reason, yeah. Yeah, we do. And, you know, I, I think I appreciate what both of you have kind of touched on. Uh, Jasper, you mentioned the word connect. And Jerome, you talked about, you know, the community is that we really wanted to create a place that allowed everyone to, to connect with each other, to learn from each other, and just to enjoy being in each other's presence and, you know, having the ability to, to bring such amazing speakers and their followings to this conference um, is going to be really fantastic. Yeah, the, and I, I just, I just took a quick sneak peek at the, the speaker lineup just now, and the, there's, a, there's a, there's a ton, a ton, a ton of amazing people speaking. So that's actually a really good compliment to, to you all's organizers. There's, there's an amazing, amazing lineup. Oh, thank you. Really appreciate that. And, you know, we were really excited um, when just two weeks ago we hit our target, our minimum target of, um, of registered participants so that we were able to bring on a track three and bring even more amazing people into the conference. Because at first there was a few people that we unfortunately had to say no to um, just to ensure that, you know, there wasn't more speakers than attendees. Um, but now, you know, I'm really excited to say that we've been able to bring in some really fantastic people. People from around the world so so yeah so really excited um speaking on to that a little bit you know talking about bringing people from around the world one thing that we've really strived for with lean agile global is we really wanted it to be in a diverse um and inclusive conference um and i'd like to know you know just shortly from each of you what you think that that means for you so um uh you're uh, i'm not sure if you'd like to go first this time <laughs> yeah there's no problem yeah yeah, I think uh, it's important, and uh, and um, it's ex I, I hear heard about this uh, that it's br brought in, in this uh, forward in this uh, in the sense, and I think that's that's really important because uh, also in organization we talk about a safe environment uh, where everybody feels feels safe to to discuss with each other. Uh, so that's that's one side, and I think that's the most most important thing that everybody should feel welcome. Uh, but also had diversity, uh, the power of diversity. Uh, if you look at that as a as a chance to to bring together and to see different angles of it, so I think it's a, it's a nice topic that you can uh, can look at from different angles. But uh, looking at it with uh, with a safe environment, uh, uh, nice things can, can can grow from there. Yeah, absolutely. And um, Jasper, how about for you? What do you think? Well, I, I think it's uh, I, I think the, the the more diverse your crowd is, is the, the better the ideas that um, come from that, the, the more it, it builds on each other. Um, uh, I think you can only do that with a with a very diverse group. So I think it's a very good way of bringing um, a lot of different people together in a lot of different ways. Um, it, 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 it creates a. I don't know how you say it. It's a sort of a level, uh, a level playing field in communication because everybody is there 
with the same person, uh, with the same purpose and to learn from each other um, and is respected in their own way in doing that. So that's, that's a great, that's a great uh, place to be, to learn and to share knowledge. Yeah. And to absolutely. have a ton of fun. And to have a ton of fun, absolutely. And we definitely, definitely want to, to create something fun and exciting. And as you were talking about, you know, um, like diverse experiences and talking about um, one thing that I've mentioned before is, is that, you know, everyone is, you know, everyone in Agile is relatively doing something similar. And, I, and I'm not trying to, you know, um, put everyone in the same box, but, but for the most part, you know, Agile ways of thinking. But an Agile way of thinking could be completely different in an area of the U.S. to an area in Thailand or Australia or Russia. And so we just would love to be able to bring all those people together to say, you know, this is actually how I do it. And I want to share my knowledge on how I do it and see if it might be able to to tweak how you do it just a little bit so uh so yeah yeah, yeah and, they're, and they're definitely there there definitely have been conferences long times ago where maybe people that don't fit the traditional agile roles like like project managers or uh or or, or pick a pick a role don't feel like they fit in with the crowd even though they bring they bring a ton of experience absolutely on stuff Oh, that is so relevant to what we do so yeah absolutely yeah i agree uh, yeah, because if you have these purists that uh, that that only stick to what they think yeah, then yeah, that's a pity because yeah, others can learn from that but they can also learn from others if you you're open to the other views in that and uh, and i think it's important to emphasize that because that's that creates learning yeah, absolutely. Well, speaking of learning, then um, I would love to know a little bit about your talk. So why should people come and join your talk at the conference this year? And I'll kind of throw to both of you for whoever kind of wants to start off that conversation. <laughs> yeah. Well, let, let's take a start. And just, uh... <laughs> I, yeah, I would say why not? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no. yeah that's, that's good. And I think yeah, we have a we have a real nice talk. It's it's a portfolio management in hybrid organizations and uh, talking about diverse diversity in in in, in doing agile uh, our talk is about the situation where a lot of organizations are in in a hybrid form uh, where you see that uh, you might talk to one person in the organization and think wow this is the most agile organization ever uh, but then you speak to another one from the same organization and you think well hey they have to get started soon uh, and and both are true. And I think if both are true, then you see both examples, then this is very interesting because that's the situation where they need to integrate together. Right? These both worlds need to integrate. And uh, uh, Jasper and I are both in, in, in a lot of organizations helping them to connect the strategy to the operation. So make the whole organization, the organization as a whole, agile and responsive. And, uh, and how you do that and what the challenges are. Uh, we share our examples in there. And also a nice thing is that uh, Kanban, uh, the way you do Kanban in teams, is also a higher level in your organization that you connect uh, how different teams create the flow of value. Uh, that's not for one team, that's connecting the teams and that's connecting the whole organization. And that basic of Kanban, that's where we currently are writing a book on. And we have a training on that uh, from pragmatic learning. Uh, so that's uh, the, the, the things that are in there. We also use in, the, in our presentation and make it pragmatic how you can connect strategy to operation. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, yeah. Oh, sorry, Kat. Go, go no, ahead. I was actually just going to throw to you and just say, do you have anything <laughs> else to add to that? <laughs> well, you, yeah, I just wanted to add. I, we, we both spend a lot of time working in, in, in the messy middle bit um where where both worlds live and and where a lot of the uh, both realities are true and and colliding and um what we're hoping to do is bring that experience to a lot of people give a ton of like relevant real life examples um how we solve things where we threw away the the, the method book and said all right so we're just going to fix this and this is how we did it um, so that we can connect to people that are looking to solve the problem um, 
but are also looking for the the true story and the harsh reality of how how messy that is and and how you can actually do it in a way that um, you can still stay in control in your organization, develop flow in the work you're delivering, um, and still still can keep the useful stuff in in each of the realities that exist. Awesome. That sounds really interesting. I love how you kind of talked about um, like kind of like the real life, the real story of, of what it is like, um, because, you know, every situation for every organization is different and it can be messy, as you said, um, but there is truly a way that you can work through it. So I think that's going to be a really interesting talk. Yeah, yeah we think so. <laughs> yeah, good, good. I hope so. <laughs> totally agree with you. <laughs> Yeah, amazing. Well, I'm excited for that. Um, just to wrap it up here, um, thank you guys so much for your time. I really appreciate you coming on and talking a little bit about the conference and about what you're looking forward to. Um, and speaking of looking forward to things, my final question, which is a little bit more personal than professional, I guess, is, you know, what are you looking forward to after COVID has started to settle down? Um, and maybe, uh, Yarun, I'll go to you first this time. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, there's a couple of things that when we, we yeah, when I spoke to you earlier, Katrina, hey, you were talking about pubs opening again. And yes. uh, so that's that's one of the things and that really triggered me because that's one of the things that I hope for. And hey, when Jasper said having a drink at a conference, uh, but I also see uh, the benefits of COVID. So I also look forward to coming to this, this new standard where we have a mix of the things that were good at COVID. I have a lot less traveling time to go towards work, but I miss the energetic sessions doing together, but I would like to have that mix. So uh, yeah. the first meetings or maybe a first conference where we have a mix of, uh, of people all over the world, because that's a lot easier now to do conferences all over the world. Yeah. Uh, also be able to, to sit together with a group and that might be even a smaller group, but to have, uh, have drinks together and maybe a good barbecue uh, with you, uh, Jasper. <laughs> Yeah, that would that would yeah, that would definitely be great. Yeah. yeah. I, I would I would I think I would I would say there's a lot of stuff yeah, like in personal life and social social stuff to do. In work, the one thing I look out to or, or, or I, I hope to do is to stand with a ton of people in front of a whiteboard. That's the, <laughs> that's one of the things I've been missing most is um with all of the technology we have, I still, well, I know Jeroen has a massive, massive screen at home where he can work and, and has a touch screen that works. Um, unfortunately, I don't. So that is just being able to collaborate with people in real life and being able to go to conferences. I'm sitting outside right now. It's freezing cold. I just <laughs> want to be at a conference somewhere, somewhere in Florida or I don't know Madrid or somewhere where it's warmer. Where it that sounds fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so that's what I'm looking forward to. Oh, amazing! Yeah. May maybe not only helping the pups out of the crisis, but also uh, the posted company. Uh, yeah. Yes, three M's. <laughs> <Maybe some more. laughs> Yeah, absolutely. I know, I know, especially, you know, with Jose and JP as well, those post-its are really big for the Agile community. And I think, I feel like the post-it, uh, the post-it company has lost a lot of money in the last year. <laughs> Everyone yeah. going online. Exactly. Yeah. 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 Amazing. They need to be responsive. Yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah. Awesome. Well, thank you again, both. Really appreciate your time. And I'm really looking forward to your session at the conference. And I hope that anyone that's, you know, listened to our conversation today will be really looking forward to joining us as well. Yes, we like to welcome yeah. you. Likewise. Yes. Yeah. Good. Amazing. Well, enjoy the rest of your day, both. Thank you so much. Thank you, too. You too. Bye. Bye.